cat hair everywhere. All right. Okay, we are gathered here on this Sunday morning to play some black red Croxa again. Uh, this time we're going to go with a little bit more aggressive slant. Uh, so we've replaced our Knight of the Ebon Legion with Gutter Bones. We've uh, added some Ember Cleave instead of, of Pirate Dad. We have Rankle in here to help us out. But the core of the deck is still the same. We have Stitcher Supplier, Meyer Triton, and Timurit Calls the Dead as ways to fuel our graveyard, and Croxa and Phoenix as rewards for doing so. Bonecrusher Giant, just a good card. Let's get in there. Let's see if this is any different. Cinnamon Peridol. Yeah, Aggro decks want to play first. Um, yeah, this is fine. We don't have a turn one play anyway, so we can go ahead and fetch up a land. And we have Bone Crusher into Phoenix of Ash into this, so sounds good. Just gonna stomp their face and move along here. Oh, I played the wrong land, so I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> uh, I'm good at this game. Meant, meant to do this this turn. Meant to play this into this. Did not do so. Oh, this is going to be sweet. So next turn we get to land, rankle, discard Phoenix. Sure. Ooh, we drew, ooh. One, two, three, four, five. Never mind. Change of plans. Change of plans. <laughs> they discard Nexus of Fate, go figure. They discarded Nexus of Fate, go figure. They're missing a land drop. That's so good for us. All right. So now we're going to do that plan I was talking about. Oh, it has to do it to a player. That's kind of annoying. Sure. All right, so we're gonna say each player discards card. We're gonna discard Phoenix. They're still missing their fourth land drop, which is pretty good for us.
Uh-oh. I am short on things. Wait, hold on. You go there. They still have to discard a card, and it's going to be a non land card, so that's fine, I guess. Wow, they just took it. Okay. Um. So this does four next turn. Yeah, okay, they're dead. They're just dead. There's a cat just sitting next to my monitor here. All right. Uh, I like Agonizing, Remorse, and Robber of the Rich here. Um, cut a couple cleaves. Got a couple giants. And a Triton, I suppose. Uh, I need to change this to the red black owl. Oh. Uh, yeah. There we go. All right, so we get to go Stitcher Supplier into Croxa here. Now I'm kind of wanting to rob them. They have five cars, though. Three, four, five. Has more cards in hand. Yeah. All right. Instead, we'll just crocs it. Pick them apart a bit. Go ahead and boop that right out of your hand. So now they're going to play Tamio. We can't deal six to Tamio, which is annoying. Next turn, we can empty our hand out. So Robert does a little bit more for us. I think you will find my nose yeah, they only have two Wilderness Reclamations left in their deck, so that's looking pretty good for us. Gosh, and they just fueled up. Ah, okay. I was like, what is going on? All right. Uh, so. I think I'm just going to draw off their deck here. Mm, that 
that was a good hit. That was a good hit. And now we got Robber the Rich online. Mm. Does that mean they drew... Oh my god. Exile to Reclamations. Of course, they draw the third... Three, that, so that was three Reclamations in their top half of their deck. So, you know, feels good, I guess. Maybe Ashiak's supposed to be in here so that they can't flip as Kanta. on to game three we'll be on the play maybe i just don't want giant at all all right play first uh this hand is kind of awkward because of this, like otherwise it'd be great. I'm just going to keep it. We'll draw our third land. It's fine. Like imagine this as a six where we go like two, three or something. Just going to go ahead, fetch my, my swamp. Feel the agonizing remorse. Um, gosh, they have two really good turn three plays. We have Ashiok, though, so I'm not worried about this. So I'm just going to take the, the namesake of their deck. Land? Uh, pick their hand apart a little bit. Of course, they discard the land because they have Euro, so they can just play Euro, play another land. Please let me draw a land. Untap land. Have to specify. Untap land. Untap land for me. Yay! We did it! We did it! Uh... All right, our graveyard set up. We have Ashiok going. We get to kill Teferi next turn. All 
All right, different plan. One, two, three, eight. Oh, okay, I did highlight that one. Okay, uh, four, five. We only have one card in hand, so we get to strip them of that. Uh, and I'm gonna save this Ashiok for when there's more relevant stuff in their graveyard. Like that. Oh, look who's joining us. It's a baby. It's a baby boy. Let's try this. <laughs> Free pet. This is, this is a sample of the 500 point reward. Alright, so uh, we won't get chemistry since like, cause they're about to cast it, I think. Wait, where'd their mana go? They're floating mana. Yeah. Shrug. Uh, yep. Uh, so, of course, this is when they hit their frickin' Nexus of Fate in one shot. No, oh, they didn't. And we get to exile Euro. You've reached 500 points. Here's your reward free pets. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll keep Wrinkle on top. Wrinkle's pretty good. Which means I'll just mill them. Um, do I have a way? Oh, I should have used Ashiok after combat. Yeah, I should have used Ashiok after combat. Whoops. All right, uh, gutter bones, tap land, go. Two top, I hate it. Uh, Teferi was probably one of their tops. And they did draw a card. Um... Rankle. Do they realize I haven't used my my uh Ashiok yet? Um, 
don't really need to do that, huh? I've hit at least three love struck beasts. Yeah. Like, I can't hit Nexus of Fate because of how it works. Sure. Uh, they get to float mana, etc., etc. Another nexus of fate that doesn't accomplish anything. It's hard to accomplish things with no cards in your hand. Are you dead? Yeah, you're dead. Yay, we win. Hello, Witch Doctor. <sighs> we did the thing. Ooh. Did we get 60 gems for winning that? We did. We got 60 gems for winning that. Nice. Oh, I've played this person before. I recognize that name. I don't remember what they were playing, but I've definitely played them before. All right, Stitcher Supplier finds us a Croxa immediately. Fantastic. Thought Erasure. Not that great against me, honestly. It's going good so far. I mean, I beat Bant Nexus, which always makes me happy. Ah, right. They were playing Grixis Sadness. I remember now. I remember now. <laughs> they don't have what I would describe as an easy choice here. Sure, Meyer Triton. Oh boy. Get to punch them for four on turn two. I love to see it. Oh, God, we are what I would describe as the luckiest sometimes. Let's make another zombie because Stitcher Supplier is a zombie for some reason. Brazenest of borrowers, okay? So, untap land next turn means we get to escape Croxa. Nickel Bolas. Rats. All right, well, I'm just going to put a bunch of zombies into play then if I can't escape my Croxa. Meh. I got enough stuff in my graveyard. Don't need to sacrifice that for no reason. 
Gain five, scry five. Let's go. <laughs> Prepare to get ravaged. Oh, boy. All right, so that didn't do any damage because I'm about to gain five life. Ah, and we drew the land. Perfect. Oh, boy. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Um. Yeah. No way. Um, this one. All right. Nice. Do I attack like this? I don't want to attack with these because I want this to stay on top. Oh, this is a skeleton, so it was only four. Right, I knew that. Sure. Let's get some amount of damage in. Because next turn... Oh... All right, well, I mean, I mean, we still get to cleave next turn, and cleaving is pretty sweet. Nickel bowlers. Just going to get rid of this friend. Don't really need that here. I believe they are what we describe in the business as very dead here. Embercleave doing some work. Embercleave doing some work. All right. As I recall, they are also a crux of build. I can't guarantee that, though. This is me thinking of the last time I played this person, so they might have changed things. I like Agonizing Remorse. Um, maybe this is a robber matchup? Caught a couple of Tritons. These weren't really doing anything. Let's just run this. Is this Bolostron? Probably. That's one way to look at it. Haha, -ha, I've tricked chat. I'm petting a different cat off camera. <laughs> no? You just want to sit there in the sun? Um, yeah, I know. I do all that may become a cat. <laughs> oh, we're on the draw, so robber's worse, right? I don't know how this card works. And they mulliganed a lot? How rude. How rude. 
How incredibly rude of them to mulligan. Well, I think it's time we just punish them for, for taking a mulligan against discard.deck. Wow, they are, they are not doing well here, huh? Get in there for two, Robert. Or die. Go ahead and shuffle. Shuffle up and deal. Uh, come on, deck. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we're going to get this this Crocs in the play off of Fabled Passage. <laughs> Just all Fabled Passage. All right. Uh... Just gonna go ahead, shock their face, play a 4-3, pass the turn. Ow. Alright. Uh... Let's do this. Opponent has elected to take a 10 ball. Yeah, I'd say I'd say Embercleave is doing a little bit of work. I like Embercleave. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're dead next turn, so if they kill our Bone Crusher, there's gonna be a problem. I mean, they're not necessarily dead, because, like... We can only do three more damage here. You know? And we just die to these birds. Wow. Wow, rude. Very, very rude opponent. All right, well. <laughs> huh. They have a lot of stuff that lava coil just deals with let's let's switch to this why am i tagged in a thing hey pizza how you doing conk 2000 with the follow welcome to the stream thank you very much Yeah, well, I mean, I basically only do historic, so welcome. <laughs> uh, this hand is terrible and slow. This hand will do, I guess. Yes, this is basically your deck list. Basically, it is your deck list. <laughs> Except you didn't show me a sideboard, so I made some stuff up. I just took the sideboard from... From uh, from Pirate Dad, and then f spiced it up for for aggro because mine is nonsense. So historic is all the sets that have ever been legal on Arena, and it does not rotate. 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, perfect. You love to see it, chat. Sunbird's invocation, nice. Ah, uh, they're gonna kill my friend. They killed Robert. Oh, hey, I was right. They do have Crocs in their deck. Called it. Well, well, shoot. And this takes three to escape. All sets that have ever been legal on Arena. Yeah. Um, except for all sets that have been legal on Arena after beta. So since it's been released. Because technically there were... They selected the wrong mode. They 1,000% selected the wrong mode. Well, that's embarrassing. Keeping track that I'm not, like, giving them their Croxa too early here. Perfect. Perfect. My owl is hooting. Sure. Okay. They still can't escape that, so we got that going for us. Um... No cards in hand. I'm just going to play this then. Phoenix of Ash is, is more believable that I'll be able to escape it later. All right, that can block flyers, sure. That does not give them enough. Still. So we got that going for us. Bone Crusher is here. Take three. Um done yay we had lethal next turn because we hit them for three and then make them draw a card and they lose the fourth point of life so we're 2-0 good start good start i need a cam on like the sunspot on sunday mornings because like while he's cute up here we, we have a pretty girl down here cleaning herself in the sun. Just all the cat cams. Sure. Huh. Simic Stompy? Teamer Stompy. All right, we'll go get a Swamp here. 
So we'll have double black, double red. Yeah, I agree. I don't like that there's no paper support. I don't like that there's no tournament play available, even just in arena. But I like the format, so I play it. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not very big on the um, LGS scene. Goodness. Okay, they took a land, so I got that going for us, I guess. I'm just going to Timmy here. Timmy picks up his phone. Rats. Not hitting a creature or enchantment there is very frustrating because I would like to cast this Croxa next turn. I'd like to draw an untapped land and, and play Croxa because I think the game ends when we do that. Oh, they hit Rankle. That's annoying. Charter course. Wow. Aha! We did it for once. Okay. All day yesterday, it was just like, oh, we would just want to hit our fourth land, and, and it never would. They're playing teamer stuff. Teamer, teamer stompy is how I would describe it. Kind of enabling their, their Robert here, but... Ooh, questing beast. Dodged a bullet on that one. Burning tree emissary. Burning tree emissary. Zerta goblin. Ah, oh, just paradise druid. Okay. Sure. Do I want a fifth land? Am I about to mill this land anyway? Yes, I am. All right. Uh, yes, I'm sure. Make them discard their last card. Keep our 6-6. Six, six. And then play a Death Toucher. Gain two life. Sego. 20. Yeah, exactly. That's all BTE is. It's just like, hey, did you know you're allowed to put as many Burning Tree Emissaries in your deck as you want? Just like, well, so many free spells. Okay, I hit a Stitcher Supplier. Do they have Lava Coil? Is that what they're working with here? Wrinkle, wrinkle, little star. <laughs> and Stitcher Supplier. Sure, just like play all the stupid creatures I have in my deck that don't do anything in yours. Uh, boy. I guess I play Phoenix of Ash. And Stitcher Supplier here. And this way... I can block Rankle. Yeah, I think I'm just going to start attacking with this 6-6. Six, six. Like, if they want to double block, that's fine. Like, please throw idiots in front of this. Yes. Yes, I'm here for this. I will definitely take out two of your dorks. They also have Phoenix of Ash. Okay. Well, I'm going to block Rankle. 
what on earth am I looking at? All right. Um, what, what is happening? No, I didn't mean to double block. Ask me why I double blocked. It's because they're the same card. Oh, I didn't mean to double block. Uh, they should be down one more creature. I'm so upset right now. I'm... Ah, uh, that was so dumb. All right. We're going to bring this back because it blocks Rankle. Wow. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they all look the same. Okay, well, now I'm going to kill the Burning Tree Emissary I was supposed to kill the first time around. Uh, do I have a one drop in hand? I do. Oh, gosh, my hand is... Just fantastic. Hey, look, our board is similar. <laughs> We're going to mill out in this aggro mirror? Are you kidding me? Oh, we got to pet the cat. Bubba? Oh, yeah, it's good morning, isn't it? Wow, they're playing tap lands in their aggro deck. Bold. Block. Yeah, so it looks like they're bringing their Phoenix back, which is understandable and expected. We're just going to play Rankle next turn. Uh... That might be the game. That's probably the game. Your cat looks like you. Hey, um, excuse me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> At least they're not getting their Phoenix back this turn. Oh, we got another pet the cat. Give him love. He's so skinny. He's a little chump. Um, so if I escape this, they attack me for four next turn, and they have Phoenix. <sighs> oh, look. Mama's here to give him real love. I think we just died. You pushed him off camera. He was going off the disc. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to die to Stitcher Supplier. Oh, God, you're right. Oh, uh, no. I'm one mana short of just, like... Yeah, I think we're just dead here. I'm just going to pack it in. No, we're dead next turn. Like, we don't have a turn to draw anything. Bye. Going to work? Yeah. Love you. Bye. Have fun. Don't kill any children. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they can pump the bird and all sorts of things. Lava coil seems great here. Noxious grass seems great. Uh... Lava coil, noxious grass. What seems bad? 
Meyer Triton doesn't block Questing Beast, which they showed us. Uh, but it's also, like, good at blocking literally everything else. They should have pumped the Stitcher Supplier. I don't think that was a legal play. Uh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Cut Supplier and cut, I guess, like, one Meyer Triton, because, again, it just doesn't block. Like, it doesn't... I mean, it has Death Touch, but, like, they have Questing Beast, so eventually it's kind of sad. Just have, like, better removal. All right. What? Can I help you? All right. Play first. Woof. I hate it, but this is probably a keep. And then we bottom this. We're a mono black deck, friends. We're a mono black deck now. I've definitely won games like this before, so let's try and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> just saw a comment in in the discord where it's like i tried some breach and even if it's not the best deck in the format jesus is it unhealthy it's like yeah that's accurate um i think i'm actually just gonna pass here and leave up noxious grasp for a questing beast because they could have it this turn Or that. Yeah, breach is uh breach breach is a, a an annoying card. Let's draw land. Land. Ha ha. <sighs> uh, I mean, okay. I'm 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 happy about the land, but it could have gone better. We could have had more stuff to do this turn. Drawing lands is still good. I just I had to leave this up because they're gonna play like Questing Beast or Nissa or something. Uh, I love it. Ah, they took a land. Max punish, yep. Alright, we drew our fourth land. I'm going to attack like this, because I'm going to make a sacrifice a creature anyway, unless they block. Uh, they, maybe I shouldn't have attacked like this. All right. I'm going to discard Noxious Grass, sacrifice Gutter Bones. They're probably sacrificing Paradise Druid. Oh, I'm just fueling their stupid Euro, huh? This is why Crocs is kind of awkward, because Euro just is like, oh, you're making me discard cards. Cool. Now I'm going to cast my Titan. But that's why we have Embercleave, to fight through their Titan. Right? Wait, they sacrifice Phoenix? Oh, uh, they can bring it back, but they lose their Euro, so that's interesting. <laughs> Questing Beast. All right, so we take four here. We Noxious Grass the Questing Beast. These are in their graveyard. Nug them for three. Hit them for three. Uh, but we're going to decline doing anything here. Because they're one card away from escaping Euro.
I was about to say Embercleave would be kind of a nuts draw, but we wouldn't be able to cast it, so that would not be a nuts draw. We do get to just cast Croxa next turn, which is nice. They're hitting us for seven. Bold. Electric Crayon with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. I'm going to leave Gutter Bones. Are they about to Ether Gust me? So if I hit them for, I can hit them for four, they're hitting me for, but then they pump this, so I'm gonna pump the brakes. Now we can draw Embercleave. Every time. <laughs> Every single time. I, I hear a cat screaming in the background. Stormy is, is having a time. Oh yeah? I, I don't even look at price. What, you think I'm not blocking? Like... Ember Cleave. Oh, that does it too. <laughs> that does it too. I'm gonna pick up my gutter bones. <laughs> Croxa costs exactly one wild card. All right, uh, that felt pretty good, I guess. God, actually, it felt terrible, but we'll do it again. How is it that every time I play, like, a mid-range deck, it takes about an hour 20? And then when I play the aggro version of the mid-range deck, it takes two hours? I don't... I don't get it. I don't understand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Clamster gets it. Okay, I like this hand. This hand is very good here because we get to Crocs and we have Lava Coil for their stupid Phoenix. We have Ember Cleave. All right. Robber of the Rich. Yeah, I knew it. It took a land. Ah, uh, he's just falling asleep. Look at him. Do I just kill this stupid thing? Because, like, this makes Croxa worse. No. I'm going to take another hit, lose another card. Just because I have Timurit. I have Timmy Calls the Dead here. Plus, they discarded a land, which, like, makes me feel great about my life. Yeah, exactly. Like, I think we can take a couple hits. They hit another land, so we're kind of laughing here. All right. All right, and we hit the fourth land. Oh, oh, I grabbed the Windows bar instead of the card. Uh, let's, let's move this up so I don't do that again. There you go. All right. Uh, Timmy calls the dead. Ring, ring. Hello, dead. It's me, Timmy. I'm calling again. Wow. Of course, 
each creature we hit is an escape creature. <laughs> But I still want a blocker, so we'll go ahead and do that. Puts us to three, then we meet, mill three more, six, so we can escape this next turn. Block. Oh no, they hit gutter bones. Oh no, they hit gutter bones. Beast Whisperer. What? What? I'm so confused. What? What are they doing? <laughs> I want their deck list. <laughs> Just so confused. Oh, goodness gracious me. I have to decline, right? Alrighty. You've got some mono green stompy in my teamer aggro deck. You've got some teamer aggro in my mono green stompy deck. <laughs> what is going on? Uh. Alright, um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm not dead on the crackback. So I totally just swing in. Yeah, okay. Please discard a card. Because we got this. They're just like, oh, I'll take 6. Do it. Take 6. Oh, they didn't take 6. No, don't be a good last card. Don't be a good last card. Don't do it. Stop it. Oh, that doesn't... That accomplishes nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh... Is Embercleave good? Is Embercleave a good card? <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Kaka! Gosh, three wins? Ooh, the new deals are in. We're going to check daily deals after I, I get these gems here. All right, what are the daily deals? Sorry, Pirate Dad, we got to go home to Cleveland. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not interested in this one, honestly, but I do play a little bit of Soul Sister sometimes. And I like having a bunch of sleeves. Uh, uh, all that hard work for all that gold and I just go and spin it on a stupid Chinese pride mate? I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. I'm I'm selling your product for you, wizards. <laughs> All right. We got two more victories for the clean 50. That's right. I'm calling it. Oh no. Uh, why did I talk? Why did I say words? Look. Look, Clamster, we can make it up to Pirate Dad by changing our our uh our thing to to Angrath. That's how we make it up to him. Boom. Nailed it. Holy crap. Holy crap. We're doing it. Easy turn for crack, right? 
I would like to attack into your 1-1. One, one. Oh, they didn't take our trade. Oh my gosh. And then this is going to be like the last piece of the puzzle. Oh my gosh. What on earth? I'm just going to go ahead and stomp this. Like, we're getting, we're going to have enough cards anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, you have a 5-5. Five five. You enjoy that 5-5. Five five. Eh, 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 probably. I'm aware that passage is untapped on four. I want it to be a little bit more aggressive. Do I offer this trade? Oh, if I play supplier, then I have the backup Croxa. Yeah, I can see that. This is just like fueling our graveyard, so I don't mind it dying. Look at that. Look at that. Rewarded. And then we get to play this next turn. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, it's all coming together. Yeah, Tamio Parallax is also in the daily shop. I already have it because I'm a big fat whale who whales a lot. Oh no, they could double block my Croxa. What is that? Oh, <laughs> I was just talking about these folks. Hello, everyone from the Magic Stream. My name is Marty Punker. I am playing some Red Black Titan in Historic right now. And boy, is it going swell. Discard a card, please, opponent. Oh, that's where I see it. For some... Okay, so, like, Twitch has, like, an activity feed, but it doesn't put hosts in it for some reason. Yeah, they're double blocking. I don't even care. I want to kill the, the, the beast first, just to send a message. Um... Yeah, we'll discard this, go land Stitcher Supplier. And then we'll just get Crocs a back next turn. Like, come on. Gosh. The, the, the clam that designed this deck was very smart. I'm out of focus. There we are. Smart and thin. There you go. Uh, noxious grass seems good here. That's about it. Lava coil. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I feel like the things that lava coil kills, stomp also kills. So I'm kind of like off of that. I think I'm just doing this. Uh, mm -hmm. Is this sideboarding? <laughs> All right. I guess you could cut the last two lava or the last two suppliers for two more lava coils just to like kill Risen Reef more often, but I don't know. We have four stomp. It didn't show us a whole lot. They showed us Love Struck Beast and Risen Reef, and that was it. Gosh. That that game was sick though. This hand is terrible, but that game was awesome where we were just like Escape Croxa on turn four. Attack on turn five. Sure you killed it. Escape it next turn. Um 
So I bought him Embercleave or Land. I don't think this is a good Embercleave hand. Oh no, they gained a life. All right. All right, so we have a two, three, four plan, I guess. Go grab a swamp. Oh. I think, I, I think I'm gonna Mire Triton. Bottom second Croxa. Yeah, I could see that. I was being greedy and wanted to double Croxa them, is basically what was happening. Every hand is a good Embercleave hand. I mean, that is definitely an argument that can be made. Like, turn four, I get to double Croxa now? I think that's fine. Swing for four. They've learned that they should just take it, huh? Oh, are they going to do, like, big, big, uh, Cavalier here? <laughs> yep. All right, Meyer Triton, so, what on earth? Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> uh. Oh. Well, now I don't want to do this. Yeah, me too. Because, like, if I do this, they just get this next turn? Uh. I don't like it. Meyer Triton having Death Touch is legit. Oh, this thing is annoying. Wicked Wolf. Oh, sure. You fought my Phoenix. Easy block. They do get a card. They have six mana. How much does this stupid thing cost? It costs seven, so if they have a seventh mana, we're kind of annoyed. I'm actually going to stitch her supplier first in an attempt to leave Phoenix in the bin. Not an attempt. A, a successful attempt, I suppose. All right. Oh, I counted their lands wrong. Or I counted something wrong. I counted something very wrong is what happened. What happens? Tap all non-land permanents target. 8, 12, 13, 16. I'm at 20. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. What on earth? Oh my gosh. They're just like big dumb tribal. Yeah. Oh, right. They had an 8 8. Why did I attack with this? Because uh, I don't know. I'm just getting tapped anyway. Make them discard a card so they can escape through Euro. Uh, and then they don't untap on my turn either. Oh, boy. It's 
Simic Timmy. Something like that. I think we're dead. I think we have thoroughly died. Oh, this is some hot synergy. I didn't even think about that. You know, I've been wondering if some amount of uh, Farika's libation is okay in the sideboard. Lord, what do we do against this? Um... Kill more of their things. Ashiok technically makes Cavalier worse, but I don't think that's worth here. Uh, boy. I guess we just do this and hope for a better draw. Like the little, the little piercing he's got there. Uh. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm not a fan. But I don't think there's a five that's better than this. Maybe there is. All right. We're going to go get a mountain. So we'll have double red, double black. No! What? Not impressed. Not impressed. And then we draw, like, exactly the card that punishes us for the misclick. <sighs> All right. No justice. Or maybe this is justice because I meant to click on the mountain and it just, like, popped a stupid... Um, uh, pump or leave up Noxious Grasp? I think I'm going to leave up Noxious Grasp. And then next time we get to Embercleave this. Um, uh, do I kill this? Yeah, I think I do. Let's go ahead and get this out of there. I think my deck wants me to Embercleave. I think my deck wants me to cast Embercleave. Are they dead next turn? If we draw a land, they're definitely dead. We didn't draw a land. Six, nine, ten. Again, we can only do ten this way. Uh... There, we only have to do one damage. <laughs> Did we win? Did I keep a f four land six and win? So there are currently 40 some odd people watching the stream. If you're new to the stream, they cast Hydroid Crisis and conceded because it was not enough. <laughs> um, my name is Marty Punker. I play a lot of Historic on Arena. Typically playing some sick brews like this one. Uh, if you miss any of the streams, I, I post them to YouTube under the name Marty Punker. And if you want to know when I go live, you can either hit that follow button here on Twitch or follow me on Twitter at Marty Punker. Let's see if we can get a 5 0. Oh, that's sick. I don't know if that's good or not, but Mausoleum Secrets with Croxa seems interesting. 
Won the coin flip. What? I heard you like one drops. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, this is much more reasonable. Just bottom this? I'm just gonna bottom this. It's much more reasonable, except I can't cast this on one. Uh... Wow, mildly punished for not, like, playing a tap land on turn one. No, wait, this wouldn't be untapped, so never mind. Not mildly punished. Four mana Domri, you say? Oh, oh, opponent. I love you, opponent. I love you, opponent. Uh, yeah. Four mana Domri. Play a blue land. Make me just the ha- Aww. Questing Beast. Well, my two twos can't deal with Questing Beast, that's for sure. Ugh, and we didn't draw a land. We milled a land, though. Uh, yep. So we're going to gain three, scry three, but it's after we draw. Please let us draw an untapped land. All our lands are untapped at this point. Oh, we're dead. That's ten. This doesn't even block that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Um, my Triton doesn't block Questing Beast, so cut one. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Did that just happen? Cleave them back before conceding? <laughs> no, nah, I don't want to show them Cleveland. They could just think we're a mopey red black deck for for the time being. This is that was uh that was a thing. All right. This hand has a little bit of everything except for a second black source. <laughs> if this hand had a second black source, it would be perfect. Discard a card. Make it a land. Wish to deal you five on turn two. Oh. Five mana Vivian. Some people just like playing GRN standard and splashing some new cards in, huh? Tempting to play this, but I'm just going to timber it, try and get Crocs out on turn four. I feel a stomp in our future, which, like, I'm okay with. Yeah, see, they didn't stomp the token, so this means I get to exile a card and st still escape this if we draw a land. Yeah, that's how that works. Sarazal and some, some letters. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for that follow. Uh, hoo 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 hoo. Um, I'm just gonna punch their face with a thing. They can't, they can't uh, ember cleave us this turn, so we got that going for us. They're gonna lava coil that. Oh, just crush it. Sure. Is Zerta Goblin? Oh, wow. Ooh, nice. Uh, do I want a 
a fifth land. I think I'm just going to bottom these. Looking for action since we drew the fourth land. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five. No, wait, I have an Ember Cleave I can exile. There you go. Maybe it's right to leave a Phoenix in here instead of one of these. Now I have a 6 6, which dies to Ember Cleave. Aha! No Ember Cleave. You love to see it. Cinder vines. Okay. So we can kill this. Sure. Play out the bird. Hit them down to six, and they lose their best creature. Oh, they lose both their creatures? Yeah, okay. This game feels kind of over. Don't play another blocker. Okay, yeah, they're dead. They're dead on board. All right, now we got to win the tough one. We got to win on the draw against an aggro deck. Cinder Vines. Interesting choice. It is good against Ember Cleave, but I think, I think we've got this, hopefully. Please, 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 I wish to 5-0 on camera. None of this plebeian 5-1 business anymore. We, we must go undefeated. And don't forget, chat, if you cheer, or not cheer, if you uh, send 500 channel point thingies, I'll, I'll pet the cat. This cat right here. I touched him and he didn't even notice. There's another cat that's behind my right monitor. You don't get to see her. She's too mysterious. Noxious Grass, Lava Coil, and Phoenix of Ash. I think I think this is a sign me up kind of hand. Yeah, that's all we needed, right? A Croxa? I should just fetch this. Badoop. Alright. This time. We will actually get a mountain. Hey, Wolfie. How you doing? Oh, they just put a counter on it? They just put a counter on it? Um, games have been great so far. No BTE is their deck broken, right? This is kind of annoying, but they could have Questing Beast next turn. I can still kill one of their creatures, though, and Questing Beast. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to kill this. And then next turn, we can Noxious Grass Questing Beast if they have it. Like, take four, but still get that annoying thing out of the way. Oh, it's a Burning Tree Emissary. They found it. It turns out the Burning Tree Emissary was in them all along. This is where I kind of miss the uh, mid-range build. Uh, yeah, this one. Sure. Because with the mid-range build, we could, we could have uh, Ritual of Soot and just, like, clear this board. Although Ritual of Soot notably does not kill... Oh, that's a lot of damages. 7, 8, down to 10. Does not kill Questing Beast. Ok. 
Gosh, I have to take two. Then I have a three, three that blocks here. Three, four, five. So that takes me down to three. And then I kill something with this next turn. Go up to four. Oh, I can block with this too. What am I talking about? It's not quite the end of the world. Block, block, take four down to four, then kill this. Oh, that's an Ember Cleave pause. We're dead. We have died. That is 1000% an Ember Cleave pause. <laughs> All right, well. Oh, good luck with it. I love that deck. So close. Yeah, like, skill game, right? You gotta love it. There's there's no luck involved. And, that, and we know that was a top deck cleave, too, because they were empty-handed. Just, eh, this is a good death. You portrayed Gruul. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not even happy about their build of Gruul, and they still just crushed us. I think that's a winnable matchup, just for the record. Like, they literally top-decked the lethal card, so. Oh, no. Not like this. <laughs> We're on the draw. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. There is a Pirate Daddy deck. If you go to my uh, Stream Decker page. Steam Flogger Boss with the sub. Welcome. Thank you so, so very much. I'm going to go ahead and just drop this friend. Two Bedevils in the board is a thing you can do. Well, like, even with Bedevil, though, we wouldn't have been able to win there. Right? Because, like, our issue wasn't that we couldn't... Our issue was that we couldn't cast anything at that point. We had to cast the Phoenix, which involved shocking a land in. And then we had to... Oh, they're going to light up the stage here? Yeah. I don't think the Devil would have saved us there. You love and hate to see it, honestly. Because, like, they were missing land drops, and now they definitely have it. Yes. I would like to block. Kidding me? I'd love to block. Yeah, look at that. We got some rocker monkeys and a wave monkey. All right, deck. Don't betray me for the millionth time. Please, please give me a red source next turn. Please. Please, please give me a red source next turn. Please. <laughs> Early, boy. Yes! It did not betray me. You know what's really good against Chain Whirler? <laughs> I haven't... I think we faced Mono Green once, and it was a poor build, and we just steamrolled it a bit. Are we done here? Are we quite finished? Okay. Bad draw. Oh, we stole game one. Yes, we stole game one. We stole game one. All right, so Lava Coil seems fantastic here. Uh, I'm going to trim like this. Mire Triton seems okay, but it's an X1 against... Oh, wait. It's an X1 against Chain Whirler, so it's not that great. I haven't seen Graft Digger's Cage yet. Yeah, me me either. Uh, stealing game one is uh, huge. Yeah, now that you mention it, this is now... Let's see, I, I got five out of my first league. 
And then there was six and six, so that's 12, that's 17. And this is now game six. So, so we're up to um, 23, 23 matches, no Graph Diggers cage. I have faced um, Leyline of the Void though, and that one crushed me. Sand's pretty bad. This hand is the definition of an awkward keep. I'm just going to bottom this because we're fetching red on one anyway, and then we'll just play Mire Triton. All right. Carefully look at the lands. Don't let them jump at you. Select the red one. We're good. <laughs> Wow. Light up the stage, I take it? Yep. Um, huh. Now I'm not sure what I want to do. Don't let the... I'm trying not to, let me tell you. Because they only have three cards in hand. So, like, making them discard is kind of huge here. Yeah, I think... Although, if I let them discard... Oh, this already has haste. So this has haste. I could leave a Bone Crusher and just kill this. I'm just going to leave a Bone Crusher to kill this thing. Oh, they had a second land. That's kind of upsetting. Oh, don't infuriate me, bro. Okay. I was like, oh, don't use infuriate, please. I guess it was just pausing because they had lightning strike. Yep. Boop. All right. So now I'm going to Mire Triton so I can gain two life. And then put this into play tapped and say go. This is when they whirly boy me and I'm sad. They did not whirly boy me. All right. <laughs> Imagine play. Look, I've done it before. It's surprisingly a lot worse than I expected. <laughs> I get to play this. Wow. Milled over three lands. Teamer Breach might be the best deck in the format. Uh, I think, until proven otherwise, Gruel Aggro is, is the best deck. Block. Wow, we milled over six lands, so we're definitely not drawing one now. <laughs> yeah, Gruel, Gruel is just... Woo. I'm just going to play Bone Crusher Giant. Breach feels a lot stronger than it is because people aren't packing hate. Yeah, that's very true too. All right, we got to pet the cat. He's like, what are you doing? Sure. This exchange is fine. They did that in a weird order. Um, I think... It's going to make a 2-2 two -two here. Right? Gallia is just so good. Are we done? Did we win? Did we win two games on the draw against Mono Red? Didn't even hit our fourth land drop? Oh, oh now you're definitely dead. Now you have definitely lost.
Papa's home. Papa's home. Not pirate Papa, just, you know, Papa. <laughs> Use it or lose it, bud. We're not quite home free, but... You respect your elder giants, right? <laughs> oh, they're gonna lava coil it? Sure. Like I care. Lol. Lol this game. Let's see if I attack, that's six, seven, eight, so they're not quite dead there. But, you know, they're basically dead. You know, mono red without a combo in it is uh, pretty easy to beat. <laughs> All right, we got the second five one, two days in a row. Look at that. I mean, look at it when the... Uh, there we go. And an orb. Easy game. Easy life. Oh, yeah. Y'all remember this crappy lord? <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's orb up. I'm so close to getting... Like, I want to finish this... And then I want to get this one, and I'm basically done with things I care about. I guess Mantle, uh, so he's playing Standard in that one deck. Maybe Standard is a better choice. Yeah, like, when we played Mono Red, the issue I was seeing mostly was that, that like, green just adds so much to the aggro. Like, Clothis is important in a lot of matchups. Uh, Cinder Vines or some form of enchantment removal is important in this format. All right, so let's talk about this deck, though. Uh, this deck took Pirate Dad's list, replaced Pirate Dad with Embercleave and Rankle, and just went, like, all in on the mill plan. If I'm honest, the least impressive change that we did in this list was Gutter Bones. Like, this never felt better than Knight of the Ebon Legion. I, ne I brought it back once, and it was when I was just, like, goofing around winning the game. Like, we never did anything with this card. And I think having, like, a 1-2 that can block random 1-1s one and then, like, grows over time is better than this. Like, we deal 4 a lot. <laughs> so maybe this should still be Knight. But other than that, this deck was sweet. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, like, that's the only thing I would change. Oh, oh, perfect. It's right there. So, you know, play this card instead. This card's great. And then uh, out of the sideboard, we did bring in Robber. I played it wrong. Bringing it on the draw doesn't work as well, but I still think you want this for your control matchups. We didn't face any mono white decks, so Tibalt didn't come in. Noxious Grass was pretty good. I still like this sideboard, but something tells me, like, between Ashiok and Agonizing Remorse, uh, we might want, like, Farika's Libation in here somewhere, and these sort of fill similar roles. Esper and Combo, yeah. So, I don't know. I, I like this sideboard. Uh, some people play Bedevil. Farika's uh, Libation is a consideration. So... That's a thought. Otherwise, the, the, the 60 is great. 60, perfect. Love it. Would play again 1,000 times. Is it better than Pirate Dad? Anyway.